Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to really sort of round out parts of our design by showing you what it takes to get our footer looking correctly. So let's get going on that right now. Okay, so in the last video, we got our main column, our main area set up. Now in this video, we're gonna be talking about the footer. Now, what content is typically in a footer is maybe a copyright. There's also usually some additional links. Sometimes they include links that are not part of the main navigation. For instance, maybe if you want to have about in, in home and some other maybe like products or something, but you don't want contact us to be right in the forefront. You sometimes see people put links like that, that they just want to be part of the main links, but not sort of highly focused like these header links. And in addition, you could put things like a terms of service and a privacy policy or something like that. But right now we just have this C215 this copyright 2015 and it's a background of white here. Now what we want to do is we want to make this look like a footer. Now one now one quick thing we can do to make it look like a footer is instantly take some cues from the header. Now we had on our site's header we had a padding of 10 pixels and 5%. Now I'm just going to go ahead and type in main footer. Okay, I'm going to give it this padding. Now I'm going to take this class because I haven't actually assigned this to the HTML yet. I'm going to add this to our HTML main footer. So we have an ID here of footer, but if you remember, we don't style off of IDs, we style off of classes. So let's go ahead and just add main footer. Now the reason why I gave this a class of main footer instead of just using the element is the footer element doesn't just have to be the page's footer but can also be uh, a particular section or an aside's footer or something like that. So to leave ourselves open for being able to use the footer again in the future, I'm giving this a class. So we have main footer, there we go, padding, let's refresh. Okay, cool, so now it's all in line with our header here, it should be nice and nice and good that way. I'm actually going to bump up this padding to like something like 40 pixels for the top and bottom. And I'm going to give this a background. Now this background is going to be really dark. It's going to be the same color that we are using on the billboard. And I'm going to give it a color of white like so. So background 333, color white, 40 pixels, 5%. Refresh and you can see we now have our footer here. I mean this looks a little bit cramped because we don't have a ton of information here uh, However, once this sort of fills out and pushes down You'll be able to see that this is looking more proportional as we go So we have this copyright 2015 um, Let's head to our HTML and I'm just going to say level up tutorials Now I'm going to give this paragraph a class of copy write. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to once again float this to the left. So copyright it's going to be floated to the left. Because we're floating this to the left, we actually need to give our footer a class of clear fix, if you remember, to make sure that it actually uh, contains the height of its children. Now what we want to do down here is let's add a, another unordered list. We could say UL L, L I, and inside of that we're going to add a link to the index page, which we can get to just by a forward slash. We can say home close these all up. Likewise, I'm gonna, let me scroll down here. I'm gonna have this be about, and this can link to about.html. Okay, and there we go. Now I'm gonna give this unordered list a class name of, we're going to have this just be footer nav. Okay, save this. Let's come here to our footer nav. And the CSS I wanna use for the footer nav, uh, if you remember the footer nav is on the UL itself. 
So we want this to be a list style, none. We don't want any odd list elements in here, anything like that. I'm gonna copy and paste footer nav and make an un uh, target our list item here. Now the list item itself, I'm going to want to float left. Because I'm floating the list item left, again, we're gonna want to use a clear fix on our unordered list. You'll notice this pattern here. Anytime we're sort of using a float inside of a container, you're gonna need that clear fix on the container if you want it to maintain its proper height. And so we floated our copyright to the left. Let's actually float the entire nav to the right. So let's come back to our page and see all of the work that we did. So what you can see is we now have our copyright on the left. We have our uh, footer navigation down here on the right. Cool, so let's actually go ahead and target these links here because we don't necessarily want these links to be this blue. We don't want them to have the text underline, although the text underline isn't, isn't too bad. We also want them to maybe be a little bit smaller. They're a little big for my taste right now. So one way that we can target these links specifically is we can think about only having links in this footer being these navigational links. Now that very well may not be the case. However, in this particular example, we wanna target every single anchor tag that's in the footer. So we can say main footer anchor tag, okay? So now this is going to target every single anchor tag in the footer. We can say color equals white. We can say font size is equal to 12 pixels, like so. Now let's go ahead and add some margin left to the list items here. Now this is gonna be a really interesting property of CSS. Now this is a property that many people may not even know even if they're not necessarily advanced but experienced with CSS. So what we can say is in the footer nav, we want to target every single list item that is plus a list item. And what this plus means is it's next to a list item. So if we look at our HTML, we're going to say we're looking at in the footer any sort of list item that's next to a list item, uh, but next to as in follows a list item. So this one right here, the home link, even though it's next to this about link, it doesn't count uh, because it scans down the document. So next we see this one, it looks up one and it sees that there's a list item. So it knows to add the property to this bottom one. So the plus is adding one uh, to any list item that follows another list item. If we were to keep adding items in here, like say if we were to add another link here, it would just add the property would target every single element except for the very first one in our list. Now, what we're gonna wanna do is say margin left, and we're gonna give this a margin left of 10 pixels, like so. Now let's go ahead and refresh our page. Now, as you can see, we have these two links. They're a bit smaller. They're not so obtrusive. And uh, if we inspect this, you can see the Let's pull this down here. You can see that the first list item is not getting any sort of margin, but the second one's getting a margin left of 10 pixels. Cool, so we now have our footer. It's really coming together. This is starting to look like a pretty normal website in a lot of ways. Uh, I mean, obviously there's a lot of things to add here, mostly in content and things like that, but the design is really starting to come together. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment in the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.